Hi, this is Aaron Walpin here at the Track Recording Studio in Dallas, Texas, and today I'm going to show you some features of X-Form Elastic Audio. What I have here is just a nice little loop. Well, let's say I want to speed this up or make it uh, longer, you know, slow it down. Uh, what we can do is go to our Elastic Audio. Now, there's different features within Elastic Audio. These right here can be done in real time. Uh, so they don't take a lot of time to do, they still sound good, but X-Form, as you can see, is rendered only. What this means is when we click it, it's going to take a little more time than, than usual to, to, get, to get it working. And every time you move around trying to make it you know, faster or slower, it, it's going to take a little uh, extra time. But it's worth it because it sounds better than all the other ones. So let's see here, we're going to go to Warp. And we have a tempo right now of 120. So let's make this snap to 120. Right now it's a little slow. All you got to do is uh, click here, drag that to where that you know, line is. That's a, a, a quarter note. We're on quarter notes in grid mode here on Pro Tools 10 HD. And let's listen to that. I think just by snapping that one, because this is a loop, it's, uh, it should lock right in here. Oh, see, it's taking time to render because it's such high quality, so we got to wait a second. Let me make a click track so we can make sure it's right on the money with the uh, 120 beats per minute. Making a click track here in the meantime. Under instrument, click. It's still rendering. Let's play, let's see. There we go. So awesome, snap to 120, still sounds really good. Now here's the thing, things don't sound that bad when you speed it up, but when you start slowing things down is where it kind of starts stretching that audio thin and sometimes it doesn't sound good. So let's, um, let's undo that, uh, that uh, faster one and let's see if we can make it slower. Let's change our tempo to, let's make it nice and slow. How about 80? Let's test this X form and see if it'll still sound really good. So now, let's make it snap there. So that's our downbeat. Remember, that's the quarter note because we're on quarter notes in grid mode here in Pro Tools 10 HD. Let's play. Hopefully it still sounds good. Oh, it's rendering. See, it takes some extra time, but the point is it's trying to get all those configurations to make it, you know, still presentable even though you're stretching the audio thin here. I think it's done now. So it's on beat, and it still sounds pretty good. I don't really hear any harsh issues, it's not taken away from the quality. So this is how you can use X-Form in Pro Tools and you know, make your audio slower or faster. I hope this helps. My name's Aaron Wolpin here at the Track Recording Studio. Thank you for watching.